Hey, what's up, guys? Blackline Android DJ here, and tonight I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make pieces of art from your stock gallery photos taken taken with a, a Galaxy S4 camera, stock camera. So I'm not talking about the Galaxy S5 ported camera for ported for Galaxy S4. I'm talking just about the stock Tatris camera, which is obviously better than the the AOSP one. So take in mind that if you're running uh, any Android open source project to ROM, such as Google Editions, such as uh, Slimcat Cyanogen mode, is uh, won't work for you because uh, you know libs imported from uh, ported actually uh, for the proper AOSP ROM don't uh, don't have the same quality as the Samsung uh, Samsung ones does okay as the samsung one do, uh, do okay so let's get into work uh, first of all i want to give a big shout out for my friend uh, right now cosmin uh, we've talked on in english uh, on uh, youtube and uh, it is a fact it was a fact that we both are romanian so and we were talking in uh, in english without knowing each other you know and um, now I've discovered that uh, he's also Romanian, so we can speak in Romanian. Uh, big shout out from him. He's a really good, uh, good flasher, and uh, he really appreciated uh, my video of uh, flashing of, of on how to flash the Mirdas Ram Phoenix version nine. And uh, I just want to thanks thanks him for uh, for being uh, such a good uh, such a good person. Now. I'm recording now here the windows and also the camera as uh, as I did on most of my of my reviews. It's kind of late in Romania. It's about 12:30 uh, a.m. Um, so tonight I'm gonna be talking about how to how to transform your stock photos into pieces of art, and I'll give you this, the simple example I have here. I have this this stock photo taken with um, I took this photo at a seaside Mamaya Constanza Romania and this is the sunrise at about uh, I don't know 5 a.m. in the morning uh, and I took this uh, this photo with my S4 camera stock Tatris camera now uh, as I'm gonna show you guys how to post process this photo, I'm gonna only show you this time, at this moment, the ending. So you will be able to see how interesting it is and how simple it is to transform such picture into a piece of art. So stay, just look at the screen right now. So this is my stock photo and this is the ending the post process photo you won't tell me it looks terrible because it definitely isn't it looks great um, how to get your picture like that I'm gonna show you guys in a couple of seconds see well, once I set up my camera on my device I won't be using my fingers because I bought a OTG cable right here so I will connect my mouse to my to my Galaxy S4 and show you very simple ways, steps you have to follow in order to transform your pictures from this to this. Okay guys, Blackline Android is out, stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm back. I set up my camera right here and as you can see on my device screen, I got a little pointer, mouse pointer. Uh, as I said before, I bought, I bought an uh, an OTG cable and I connected my wireless uh, my wireless mouse to it, this is my mouse and it's actually very very interesting how it reacts on the Galaxy S4 very quick and fast so uh, I was talking about the how to transform your stock Galaxy S4 pictures taken with uh, with the Galaxy S4 stock touch with camera and uh, sorry I had to introduce my okay and this 
this is the picture I I showed you on uh, on the desktop <clears throat> a few minutes ago. And how we're gonna transform this is, is very simple. I am using Pixlr Express. It's a very powerful tool for editing uh, pictures like this. And what you need to do in order to get into Pixlr Express, go to Share and then choose Pixlr Express. Okay guys, so this is the main menu on how to edit. I will actually zoom in a little bit, a little bit, in order for you to see what is going on with this picture. Okay, I think this is perfect. Um, firstly, we need to go to adjustments. And we have here all kind of settings from contrast, blur, sharpener to color, saturation, light, luminosity and so on. So in a picture like this, when you have a sunrise, um, as you can see here in the top right corner, you've got some, you've got some bluish tint. And uh, I know you may want to, to, to give more accent to that, uh, that color over there. So all you need to do is to go to <coughs> color and click saturation and then adjust this as you like. So I don't know if you can see on the camera but it gets it gets even better than that. So click apply and if you're not satisfied with this you can give it another shot. So you've applied this, you can undo this, but you may also try again so you can make it like this it's gonna the sun is gonna be too too, too ready so I'll keep this at two this time another important feature that you should take in mind is this powerful tool called auto fix and this auto fix will adjust the contrast the auto color on a, of its own sometimes it works good but sometimes it doesn't so <clears throat> I'll leave it I leave this like this and as you can see there are some uh, some shadowed area over here and we need to get some light into into this so we go to Linus and turn this up a little bit but not too more because it will it will mess with the settings so we got contrast over here so and we go to brightness in the same at with the same purpose to get some light into this uh, into this uh, landscape <clears throat> and afterwards that click on contrast and adjust this slider so it looks better <clears throat> now uh, you may want your your sand over here to be to be more sharpened so go to sharpen and choose what about of 50 let's say like that and it will transform your photo like this <clears throat> now, what should I be telling you right now? The vibrance also play with these settings. If you add more vibrance, the co the colors will be more intensive. Let me show you to one hundred percent. You see, it is there are more more intensive. I'll set it at twenty. It looks good good to me. Um, focal, anything like that. Focal is to create a focus, focus effect, depth of field onto something you you choose. For example, let, I will like to be the the sun, which is in focus right now, and I will adjust these sliders as as I may may want. But I'm not gonna do this this time. Uh, smoothness, we don't need this. Splash. Okay, stylize. Nope. Brighten. Nope. So we are almost ready with this part. But uh, 
<coughs> Afterwards, we get into the effects menu and go to. I like to adjust this, this uh, this effect because it gives me a lot of a lot of uh, more details to my image. So if you don't like your image to be very sharp, you can adjust this ingrid effect to a fade of. I don't know, 60 or less, like, I'll choose it, I'll leave it at uh, at 60. Okay, so let's say you like this image, but you, you'd you like to add more, more blue effect over here in this uh, white area, so what c can you do? You go to overlay and you click color correction and you choose either blue which will give you more blue to your image, either blue grad, and this is how your image gonna look. You know, you see all this blue transforming to a more pro, pro efficient one, efficient one for your image, and you can also adjust all these steps by sliding the fade, the fade button, so it doesn't look too edited. We'll leave it like this. Okay. Now. Uh, your image looks like a landscape, but you'd like to look to be more widely, like to look like a panorama. And uh, how can you do that? Is go to adjustment and crop it. First of all, first of all, actually, you need to go to rotate and make sure that the horizontal line is aligned with this set of lines over here. So we're gonna leave it like this. Afterwards, you will go to you would go to crop and cut some details from the from the sky just to look more more like a landscape and uh, adjust it like this. So the horizontal should be at your at the middle of this crop. Okay, so just like this. Uh, any more details as you can see I don't know but this picture seems to be more more uh, more centered to that uh, to that point so in order to fix this crop it again give it a full full scale like this fucking mosquitoes over there over here and uh, make sure that this curve over here is at the middle of this axe so it can be like here so now it is perfect um, anything overlays there's no not much to be mentioned here you can uh, edit as you may want or you can <coughs> also add some borders I found out some interesting ones like uh, like let me scroll here uh, I think this was shine, so it gives you some some effect of a processed photo, like it uh, it is uh, on a glass screen down to a museum or something, and it looks very good. I won't use this in this tutorial because it doesn't uh, look very good on my picture, but it. Uh, it could uh, it could be very useful on uh, on yours. So, for example, if you edit, uh, let's say you took a picture of uh, of a rose, of a rose, and you want to share with your girlfriend, and you know you, you don't know how to impress her, get your rose into Pixlr and do like me for for now. Your configuration may be totally different, but you know the steps now. And this effect called borders. And go to shine will give you the best the best experience you will you will ever have and you will definitely impress her so you can also you can also add a text to your photo I I like the handwritten handwritten thing I also have my keyboard here but I'm so lazy to type so <coughs> I will type by pressing the keyboard from Android so I'm gonna type bloody sunset
sunrise, sorry. It's the sunrise. So it is bloody sunrise. And as you may see you can you can adjust here everything. You can make it uh, even larger or smaller but this uh, this needs two fingers I'm gonna show you here these two fingers to to make it larger bigger larger or smaller sorry you can put it right in the next uh, next to the to the right corner and you can also adjust uh, choose what uh, type of uh, let me get this color a more more reddish or something okay. more reddish color you can adjust as much as you want to I won't do that because it looks terrific as it is right here um, you can play with the settings by yourself it is not very very hard to do to transform a picture like this in a piece of art <coughs> how to export this file you just go to save gallery to gallery and choose your desired uh, desired um, quality for your jpeg or png Let my camera focus okay so you choose your desired uh, resolution and click apply and that's all now your photo is gonna be saving it will take some time because it is uh, big by default it's gonna be even bigger this time at the at the ending of this uh, processing sometimes it uh, it takes even even it even doubles the size of the original image so let me zoom zoom back out zoom out too much okay so guys this was my review on how to how to post process your your stock images with uh, Pixlr Express. I hope you like it. You enjoyed it. Please, if you enjoyed, it, please thumbs up. It's very late. Sorry for my for my <clears throat> bad voice. It is very late and I have to be quiet because I don't want my my neighbors to to be mad at me. At least as you can see it's one o'clock in the morning right here weather is clear in Romania so uh, blackline Android thank you for watching thanks thanks you for watching and uh, what can I say subscribe to my channel if you like the if you like the a video as you can see file saved as I got a pop-up menu it is uh, stocked in uh, stuck in the Pixlr Express file right here folder let me zoom in so I can show you guys the picture that's the picture I hope you enjoyed this video I think this is term this is the third time I I say this I said this and uh, <clears throat> stay tuned because I'm gonna be making more overviews right now from now because I got this ODG cable and it is very very efficient to play with your Galaxy S to make an overviews to make overviews and reviews with this simple simple mouse mouse uh, pointer right here so as you can see it says mouse connected so Blacklight Android is out guys have a nice have a nice night have a nice day or what time is at your, your location and uh, that's it. Black Knight Android is out. Bye bye.